And this surah, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ It is named as Surah Al-Ikhlas. Surah Al-Ikhlas is called Surah Al-Ikhlas because it saves a person from shirk. A person who recites Surah Al-Ikhlas by the permission of Allah, that person is guided to Tawheed and saved from shirk. And also it has been named Surah Al-Ikhlas because the whole surah is exclusively regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning it does not contain any rulings, ahkam, neither does it contain any stories, qisas, rather all of it is reserved for the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Quran, it contains tawheed, which is information regarding Allah, and it contains ahkam, which are rulings, and it contains qisas, stories. So this surah, this surah, the Quran, its themes center around these three main areas, tawheed, and ahkam, and qisas. And surah al-ikhlas, it is reserved for the first, ay al-tawheed. Because it does not contain qisas and neither does it contain ahkam. So it's for one of the three. And for this reason, Surah Al-Ikhlas equates to one third of the Quran. Whoever recites Surah Al-Ikhlas has attained the reward of reciting one third of the Quran.